It finally happened. Someone has built a working, writable hoverboard. Alaska to California company called ArxPax has created a new type of magnetic field levitation technology that can not only support the weight of a full-grown person, but also turn and accelerate based on how the rider leans. It looks and feels like a precursor to Marty McFly's hoverboard from Back to the Future Part 2, but Greg Henderson, the creator of the Hendo hoverboard, says that it was actually inspired by architecture. Hendo is this hover technology, and it came from the idea of hovering a building out of harm's way. Henderson says that's not as crazy as it sounds. Uh, if you can levitate a train that weighs 50,000 kilograms, one out of house. ArxPax developed a more efficient method of electromagnetic transmission and used it to build its hover engines. The technology needs a compatible surface to push off of, like copper, but it definitely works. ArxPax is launching a Kickstarter campaign to attract people interested in the technology as well as builders who want to use it in their projects. Backers will be eligible to receive a developer kit with a function engine as well as other awards. Take that hover engine out. Hover whatever you want to hover. You know, solve problems we don't even know exist. And then you know, we can work with you to bring that, that uh, solution to market or support your Kickstarter. The future of the hoverboard itself is unclear, but ArxPax hopes to have the technology available by October 21, 2015. A nod to Marty McFly's foray into 1985's Imagine Future. Ready to float on? Check out the company's campaign on Kickstarter. Dying on top of the world. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion.